This week we'll be tapering some rail sections for a local company. They're transitioning from old rail to a new switch and need an elevation difference of about a half inch. One of the rail sections was a little long so we cut off the extra to bring them all to four foot. Over the phone the customer suggested we could angle the, the rail in the machine but we have a CNC so we just did it in software instead. Fixturing it on the flat was a lot easier. I certainly didn't need to model the section profile for this job, but I went ahead and did it anyways. Here in Fusion 360, you can see that I took an original uh, print and used it as a canvas to extract all the important details, and then extruded out to a length. Once the CAD model is created, it's trivial to cut away the tapered portion of the rail, and this is in preparation for setting up the machine paths. We'll be using a 5-inch face mill with APKT inserts. This isn't necessarily the most ideal cutter for this job, but it's what I have. Insert manufacturers publish tables that can be used to help establish the correct feeds and speeds uh, for your application. The customer indicated that the steel is high alloyed, grade 3, with a Brunel hardness of 350. Moving across the table from left to right, we can find there's a recommended uh, starting point for your material. In this case, we're going to start with a depth of cut of 118 thousandths, 6 thousandths per tooth, and 260 surface feet per minute. Plug these values into the feed and speed calculator. 5 inch diameter tool, 8 teeth or 8 inserts. Feed per tooth is 6 thousandths. Our cutting speed is 260. And this will give us our spindle speed of 199 and a feed rate of 9.534. We can round this to 200 RPMs at 10 inches per minute. Here's a simulation of the roughing passes in Fusion 360. Uh, we go full 118 thousandths depth on the first three passes and then just do our tapered finish pass. Here's an example of the milling in action. Uh, it's cutting very nicely, producing a nice uh, curly chip. Uh, that's taking away the heat, has a slight blue tint to it, and it's cutting dry and very well. The finished part turned out very nice. The surface finish is great. The actual machine time is approximately 10 minutes. I suspect it'll take longer to set up each part and remove it than the actual machine time. One done, five more to go.